Hello everybody out there in the whole wide world of YouTube and welcome to our channel. <laughs> Bet you've heard that before. Today we're going to go ahead and review an Epiphone ES which stands for Electric Spanish 339 guitar. It's a little bit smaller than the 335 if you haven't noticed. It's not that big old girl you normally see. You know, this is a little littler body guitar here. And it's a semi-hollow body, meaning that it's got a solid block of wood that runs from the back of it all the way up to here to, to support the guitar. So if you were to put your finger in the F-hole right here, it wouldn't go all the way to the other F-hole and come out over here on this side. There's a block of wood in between. Yeah, so that's a semi-hollow guitar for you right there. And today, we're going to be... Uh, looking at its appointments we're gonna be looking at you know the way it's made this thing's basically almost flawless the frets you, you know they look like they're pretty well polished here on the side it's got um you don't get any sharp frets reaching out to cut your hand while you're making them um, slides down from the upper to the lower frets or the lower to the upper frets it's got a nice binding on it it's got a, um, I believe it's a bone nut from what my friend Chris told me. And it's got binding all the way around. It's like a cream binding. It's not like a white binding. And this is the Pelham Blue model. It's a 2022, I believe. It's got two volumes and two tones. It's got those metal covered PAF style pickups, I guess. Yeah, as you can see them there. It's 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 a really good guitar. It's a 22 fretter. The frets ain't the size I like frets. I guess these would be like medium jumbos, maybe, or just mediums. What I'm getting at. But uh, I like a jumbo fret. You know, where you don't feel the fretboard underneath your finger. You basically feel like you're floating between the 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 string and the fret. You don't feel that that that. Um, drag that you feel when you when you fret on a uh, fretboard with smaller frets but then some players like that like joe satriani he likes almost a fretless guitar from what i've heard he basically will just basically have just the frets painted on there and he can he can wail on whatever because that guy is such in tune with the instrument who needs frets right yeah <laughs> yeah so there you have it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put this guitar through its paces. I'm gonna give you some clean sounds on the neck pickup first. I'm gonna strum some chords and then some single notes so you can hear what it sounds like on the neck pickup. Okay, now let's go ahead and try the middle pickup chords and, and single notes again. And let's go ahead and try the bridge pickup. Okay, there you have it. I'm gonna give it a little bit of distortion here, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit, a bit about Gibson and Epiphone history, so to say. As you can see, there is that inlay right there. You can see it right there on the headstock. It looks like a flower of some sort. Uh, maybe a crown for a king. Is Epiphone saying they're the king of guitars? Is that what that is? Well, Funny to say, but Gibson has that same inlay right there on their guitars. And um, back in the day, Epiphone was the first, I guess, um, guitar maker. And Gibson was out there making banjos and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's, that's that. But Gibson got into the guitar market because guitars started getting popular with the blues and all that such stuff. And then it turned out that um, Gibson became very popular as a brand, and they decided to beat the competition, so what they did was they went ahead and bought Epiphone and made them a sub-Gibson. But, you know, those that, you know, 
know guitars and stuff, they know that Epiphones are a really great quality guitar. And who needs to spend all that extra money when you can basically walk into your local guitar store and buy an Epiphone for pocket change as compared to the Gibsons. But then the Gibson put out a statement, or was it the Chipson, the Chinese Gibson? Um, anyways, let's get back to the story again. So this Epiphone here was made without the E on the pick guard, as you notice. There's no E here. I guess uh, Chipson was making fun of Epiphones by um, the ones with the E, and they called they called an Epiphone with an E on the pick guard an Epiphony, <laughs> which would be a phony Gibson. But then who's Chipson to talk, right? The Chinese Gibson, a knockoff. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this thing through some distortion and see what we got. So we can go ahead and I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. Let's see if we can get some up closes on that. You can see into that F hole. And it's I think it's a um, it's a laminate top, so it doesn't feed back. We're gonna do some real world playing here. And we're gonna go ahead and see what this thing does when we um, give it some distortion. Let's give it a couple chords and then we'll kick the beat machine in and see what we got out of it. Hang tight. I'm gonna go ahead and make this thing happen. Better get on out there and get you one today. There it is. You wish you had one of these Epiphone 339s right here. You could be the star of the show. Right there. There it is. In your face. So there you have it. 
you heard what it can do right there. I mean, why delay? Make yourself the star of the show and the center of attraction in the band. Yeah. Go get you an Epiphone 339 a night. Show us what you got. We're going to go ahead and conclude this video. And um, thanks for watching. You can see this guitar in action in a lot of other songs that we got. The, so the rhythm that you're hearing behind this song right now is called Deeper Than Skin. It's a song we put out, me and Melody. And um, you can check it out on our YouTube channel. Melody Stallion's channel, as you can see right there in the back. Just uh, dig it up. We'll put the link there for you so you can watch the actual song. I'm going to go ahead and let the looper play for a little bit and um, play a little bit of souls and we'll fade the video out. So there you have it.